Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your F1 2020 pre season test two, day two review. Now, the biggest headline has got to be what it says in the video title Mercedes W11 stops out on track. Yep, Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes come to halt. It was due to an oil problem. <coughs> oh, blummin' egg. Sorry about that. Uh, it was due to an oil problem. So that's why the power unit is shut down as a precaution. Now, the other headline has got to be about Ferrari. Are they sandbagging? Because to me, they are. It's a strange one because surely you want to see if your car is doing full potential. Because Vettel was on the C5 compound, I believe, and his lap time was slower than what another tyre was. So I really do not understand Ferrari's game. But anyway, another great day for racing points. The way it's looking at the moment, it looks like racing points are on pace with Ferrari, which is absolutely unbelievable. Esfan Ocon in the Renault, he didn't get much running done today, only 37 laps. Sebastian Vettel done 144 laps. Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Torre, 138 laps. Lance Stroll, racing points, 130 laps. Nicholas, the team in the Williams, 159 laps. Much better day for them today, got more running. Nando Norris, 112 laps. McLaren, Max Verstappen, 31 laps. Didn't get much running because he beached his Red Bull. Fauci Bottas, 47 laps. I think he had a bit of an issue this morning. Esan Ockham, Renault, 37 laps. Kevin Magnussen, perhaps 109 laps. So, good day for him today. Alex Albon, 60 laps for Red Bull Honda Racing. So, got a few laps in. And now, just waiting for the top 20 to come up, but top 15. Yep, Sebastian Vettel, the fastest time, 1 minute 16.8 score 1. That was with the C5 tyre, I can see on the classification. Ah, uh, here we go. Daniel Ricciardo Narano, 58 laps. Antonio G. Fernanzi, Alfa Romeo, 91 laps. Then last, the world champion, Lewis Hamilton, only doing 14 laps before his W11 comes to stop. i got to say, some real surprising lap times today. Much more interesting than yesterday's session, that's for sure. But, you know, it's a strange one from Ferraris, I say. I really don't understand their game. But anyway, what an interesting session that was. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Join me tomorrow for day three, a test two. The last pre-season test before the cars head out to Melbourne. And special shout out to... Uh, the pre-season coverage are going behind the scenes of the Mercedes oil machine where it can detect how much oil their car has got. Absolutely fantastic coverage. I paused the classification so I could see say the lap times for you guys, which is absolutely fantastic. Yep, it come up, and then I paused it, and then I played my Now TV. Yeah, here it is, my little Now TV remote. Brilliant device, the smart stick. Especially if you want to watch F1. Absolutely fantastic. But anyway, 
F1 Test 2, Day 2 complaint. Sebastian Vettel, fastest. But big question marks as to why. Aren't they sandbagging or aren't they clearly struggling for pace? Will they finally unleash their full pace tomorrow in the last practice pre-season test? I'm not too sure they will, but it's going to be interesting to see. Okay, bye-bye.